Hey guys, this Crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to go into Death of Two, a little bit into who was uh, Tina Turner, the rock and roll queen, the legendary uh, rock and roll singer that died at the age of 83. To me, she was everything. Her music um, meant so much to me and um, she passed at the age of 83 and um nobody lives forever you know and i hope people know that it's not about how much fame or money you have at the end of the day there was an expiration date on us all we are gonna die one day don't be mean to people don't be rude to people just live your life peacefully and try to make it to the next day whatever you have to do work hard uh you know just just make it one day at a time being rude and mean to people knowing one day you're not gonna be in this planet forever it just doesn't make any sense to me so anyhow let's go into details who was uh, tina turner the rock star tina turner who initially formed formed fame and a turbulent musical partnership became one of the biggest art arts in the world as a solo artist and one of the defining pop icons of the 80, 1980s. Tina Turner, the pioneering rock and roll star who became a pop behemoth in the 1980s has died age 83 after a long illness. She had suffered ill health in recent years, being diagnosed with intestinal cancer in 2016 and having a kidney transplant in 2017. Turner affirmed and amplified black women formative stakes in rock and roll, defining that era of music to the extent that Mike Jagger admitted to taking inspiration from her high kicking energetic live performance for his stage persona. After two decades of working with her abusive husband, Ike Turner, she struck out alone and after a few four starts, became one of the defining pop icon icons of the 1980s with the album Private Dancer. I love that one too. Her life was chronicle in three memoirs, a biopic, a jockbox musical and a 2021 the acclaimed documentary documentary film tina and a statement on wednesday night a representative said tina turner the queen of rock and roll has died peacefully today at the age of 83 after a long illness in her home in kusnak near zurich switzerland with her the war losses a music legend and a role model. Tina's musical character has always been a charged combination of mi mystery as well as light, melancholy mixed with a ferocious vitality that often flirted with danger. <laughs> Scholar Daphne A. Brooks wrote for The Guardian in 2018. Tina was born Anna May Bullock on 26 November 1939 and raised in Nutbush, Tennessee, where she recalled picking cotton with her family as a child. She sang in a tiny town's church choir and as a teenager talked or rather sang her way into Ike's band in St. Louis. He had declined her request to join until he heard her seized the microphone during a Kings of Rhyme performance for a rendition of B.B. King's You Know I Love You. I saw the movie, What's Love Got To Do With It? I saw the whole thing, so I know exactly what they're talking about. After her vocal talents became apparent, I gave her the name Tina Turner and trademarked it in a case she left him and he wanted to replace her in his act. He quickly became abusive when Turner tried to leave the group early on after having got a sense of his mer mercurial character, he hit her with a wooden shoes stretcher. 
this is crazy my relationship with Ike's was doomed the day he figured out I was going to be his money maker Turner wrote and her 2018 biography my love story he needed to control me economically and psychologically so I could never leave him she made her re recorded debut under the name with the Ike and, T and Tina Turner sang single A Fool in Love in July 1960, which broke, broke, broke the U.S. top 30 and started a run of respectable chart success, but it was their live performance that made them a sensation. Ike toured the Ike and Tina Turner review aggressively on the chitlin secret including in front of desegregated audiences such was their commercial power in 1964 they signed to warmer bro imprint loma record which released their first album to chat live the ike and tina turner show and the second half of the 60s the duo were Coded by many of rock biggest names, Phil Spector produced the 1966 singer River Deep, Mountain High. They supported the Rolling Stones and the UK and later the US and stars including David Bory, uh, Silverstone, Cher, Elvis Presley and Elton John came to their Las Vegas residency. They were a chart-making, Grammy-running force in the 1970s, a run that came to an end when Turner left Ike, who had been consistently violent and unfaithful in 1976. Her last single with the group was Baby, Get It On, from the 1975 film adaptation of the Who Rock opera Tommy, in which she started as a acid green. Whew a character of the same name of her second solo album. In the divorce finalist in 1978, Turner came away with just two cars and the right to her stage name. Ike fought a little bit because he knew what would do, what I would do with it, she said in the document, documentary, Tina. He wanted to take everything from her. I don't understand that. I hope you appreciated this article before you move on i was hoping you would consider taking the step of supporting the gods and guardian journalists yeah i appreciate it thank you for the information about tina turner again she passed away peacefully and uh, i'm gonna have to watch that movie again what love's got to do with it which um angela bassett play as tina Turner. she's been through a lot abusive moment with ike and finally she you know got away and um well you know what again her music live on forever when something is so good it never dies and her music will live on and i want to say thank you to her although she's no longer with us because there is moment you go through in life music help you sustain the pain music help you stand up and say there is one more day to live one more year one more second one more hour just go on and do what you have to do to make it through and um i want to say thank you to tina for making women feel that they can do it all subscribe bye